we have successfully completed till sec section 5 as you can note we have completed the installation of all the softwares needed and we also completed installing homebrew node and npm we debugged all the errors shown by apm doctor and then fixed each of them we built our wordpress ios app using xcode and we also started our android emulator and then installed the wordpress application into that and then we also created desired capabilities in the apm inspector tool now let's move on to inspect the ios application as such open your apm desktop tool and then click on start inspector session switch to saved capabilities tab so this is my iphone device so i'm tapping on that and clicking on start session this should launch the wordpress application and then a screenshot of it will be shown in the apm inspector tool it takes quite some time to load the screenshot as such so let's wait for that let us inspect each of the elements keep your focus on the specific element which you need to find the locator value for and then as I click through each element you can see the locator values here for accessibility ID it is blog details plan cell this WordPress application is pretty cool they have provided IDs for each of the field also ensure that this visible tag is set to true in your own application if you are planning to implement the APM automation in the past I have faced few issues where the visibility tag was set to false and I was trying to access that element in my code so you can get the accessibility ID xpath it's always good to first go with accessibility ID if that is not available then you can start using xpath uh, there are few other locators like label and uh, all those stuff but this application doesn't have all those but this is how you inspect the application and get the locator IDs if you go to the footer section then so this actually highlights the element behind the footer bar but this is the actual main navigation thing you can see so these are the few disadvantages with uh, <clears throat> when, when we are trying to inspect an ios application because the main navigation and the option behind it gets overlaid on top of each other so be a little uh, careful when you try to get the elements so this shows my sites tab button and you can see uh, all the values on the right we'll find more locators when we st start writing test scripts in the next video we'll be seeing how to get the element ids of an android application